Hello, friends. Welcome into the Cowboys Report presented by the Guild. I am Tom Downey. Follow me on Twitter at WhatGoingDowney for more Cowboys coverage. Let's start things off with the Jason Witten situation here. Did Jason Garrett and is Jason Garrett trying to get Jason Witten to stay? Four stars on this one comes from Chris Mortensen, who was first on the whole Jason Witten set to retire situation there. So, yeah, we're buying this one. Garrett apparently tried to get Witten to not retire. Witten had also met with owner Jerry Jones about his future. Still, though, Witten has reportedly planned to take that Monday Night Football gig. Here's one more thing for you. If you're the Cowboys are, and you have to beg somebody to stay with you for, the, for another season, is that really a guy that you want to have stay? Because he's clearly not fully committed and is clearly considering leaving football. So... I don't think that pitch is going to work that well with Jason Garrett to, to Jason Witten, which brings us to our next rumor. Is Jason Witten still set to retire? Four stars on this one. Chris Wartenson originally reported it. He says that's still the case. Then Ian Rappaport said that it is essentially, quote, a done deal. Witten did not report to voluntary workouts on Monday. That is far from his usual MO. It all kind of seems like the Cowboys are letting Witten take his time and then they will eventually send him out with a proper farewell. Folks, it does seem very, very likely, and I will be stunned if this is not the case, that Jason Witten does not retire in the next couple of days. His time with the Cowboys seems up. So I want to know from you guys, how do you feel about the impending retirement of Jason Witten? Give me a like because you're happy, a heart because you love Jason Witten and you're sad, a wow face if you're angry, and a laughy face if you have no real feelings about the matter whatsoever. I was a little bit upset first because I misunderstood the Jason Witten contract. He is not going to have any dead money. At least that's what the Cowboys have been saying, which would be a big boost for them. It is still a loss at tight end because, well, the rest of the tight ends have nine career catches on the roster. So I guess I'm a little bit sad, and it is a Cowboys legend who is set to leave, but he is getting up there in age. Cowboys do need to move on at some point, but the timing really wasn't ideal just after day one of the NFL draft. If it's your first time watching the show, you'll see the stars. Here's what they mean on our rumor scale. Zero fight, or zero stars, it's the number of fights Odo Beckham won against the net. One star means a small shred of truth, but eh, don't buy this one quite yet. Two stars means people are talking. Three stars means it's pretty likely. And four stars means that Zeke's eaten. It's to be believed. Taking out to number three here, Malik Collins. He's going to stay at the one technique position. And yeah, this one seems pretty likely here because of what the Cowboys did during the NFL draft. They haven't added a true nose guard. And Malik Collins, a three technique by trade, played out of position last year. Yes, the Cowboys added Jihad Ward. I don't think he's going to be able to play the one technique at 6'6", 25, unless they really, really bulk him up. He'll be a three technique alongside David Irving. That means Malik Collins will likely stay at one technique. But it's not quite set in stone because maybe the Cowboys add somebody else. Somebody... Maybe like a Terrell McClain. That brings us to our next rumor here. And two stars on this one. A Terrell McClain return could just happen for the Dallas Cowboys. The former Cowboys DT was cut by the Redskins after a not great start to his tenure in Washington. Go figure. He signed a 4-3 defensive tackle, put him in a 3-4 scheme, and it didn't really work out all that well. McLean is a guy I would like to bring back. Cowboys are reportedly examining the idea of doing so. He played the one technique role. That's that nose guard and the 4-3 scheme designed more to try and do your th the best job you can to hold on to two blockers and allow your other defensive ends and your penetrating three technique to hold up there. So I am okay with the idea of bringing in Terrell McLean, but I am curious, folks, what you guys think. Do you want the Cowboys to bring back Terrell McLean this year? It's something that I, am, I would definitely consider doing if I were the Cowboys. I want them to get the other option there. I think it gives them more talent at the one technique spot, and it is a big need for Dallas. I know a lot of you guys wanted Puna Ford or maybe a Tim Settle, or if you're like me, yeah, really wanted Vita Vea. Cowboys didn't get any of, the, of those guys. McLean would be a nice stopgap option at the one technique and allow Malik Collins to at least sometimes play the three technique role. All right, next up, did Dallas pass on, Earl, on an Earl Thomas trade in exchange for the 50th overall pick? Two stars, it depends on which report you believe. Ian Rappaport says the Cowboys said no when Seattle offered number 50 in exchange for that, uh, in exchange for Earl Thomas. Mike Fisher says no, the Cowboys offered it, and the Seahawks said no. I tend to believe that it, this, I don't know if I really buy Rappaport here. I don't, I have a tough time seeing the Seahawks offering number 50 to Earl Thomas and the Cowboys saying no. I think it's more likely that Seattle never really budged from their at least first-round pick demands for Earl Thomas. And we do know, by the way, this has been doubly confirmed. 
that the Cowboys offered the number 81 overall pick to Earl, for the Seahawks for Earl Thomas, and Seattle never responded. Uh, it was such a low ball offer that they straight up ghosted them. That makes me think number 50 really wasn't an, an all that much of a play there for the Cowboys. So I'm not quite buying that one, but people are most certainly talking about it. All right, but could an Earl Thomas trade still happen? Well, yeah, don't get your folks up here or your hopes up on this one, folks. Just the one star on this one. It might not totally be dead yet because you could always bring him in in free agency as well if you wanted to. And the Dallas Morning News says the Cowboys still really want Earl Thomas and they could try and trade a conditional pick for him, but I have a tough time seeing this one go down. If Seattle didn't want to do potentially a second or a third round pick, you know, why would they be willing to do a conditional pick? I think if you're going to see Earl Thomas in a Cowboys jersey, it's going to come after this season. It would come in free agency. The Cowboys have a lot of money set to be freed up next year. They can use some of that to go pursue an Earl Thomas move. And I do want to know from you guys as well, do you still want to have Earl Thomas on the Cowboys, be it next year or in future years? I think I know the answer here for the most part is going to be yes, but I don't think you're going to see any potential trade for Earl Thomas. I didn't think it was all that all that likely. Now that the draft's over, I think it's even more unlikely. Unless Seattle's really, really bad during the season, maybe you see a surprise trade deadline sh shopping. But as of right now, I don't foresee a, a trade for Earl Thomas and the Cowboys. Maybe we can revisit that in free agency. We'll get to Randy Gregory's latest here in just a minute. But first, it was from our sponsor, The Guild. <laughs> Andy Gregory going to return to the Dallas Cowboys. Three stars on this one. It is not quite set in stone, but he is on the verge of applying for reinstatement. It is likely to happen this week, are the reports. Could have been as soon as today, but I don't think we're going to see that go down. I think later this week is when Gregory files that paperwork for reinstatement there. He's going to present evidence, by the way, that shows he hasn't failed a drug test in nearly two years. That is a big deal for Randy Gregory. His reinstatement, at least the application for it, is coming very soon. The Cowboys are not getting their hopes up, but I think Gregory's camp is right now. I think there's a very good chance, folks, that come training camp and come week one of the preseason, you're going to see Randy Gregory back in a Cowboys jersey. So three stars on that one. Things are looking good for Gregory and the Cowboys. Speaking of the defensive line, Lewis Neal, the under tackle from LSU who was on the roster last year, is he going to move to fullback? Well, three stars on this one. Friend of the show, Bobby Belt, reports that, yeah, Lewis Neal has been asked to move to fullback. Now, Belt also mentioned that he could play some DT and fullback at the same time, kind of a, a the rare two-way player, or, you know, potentially he could move back if it doesn't work out at fullback. But Lewis Neal has been asked to move to fullback. A very interesting move in my eyes was a, a spot player for the Cowboys at DT last year, an undrafted free agent, was on the practice squad, then made the roster after injuries decimated the defensive line for the Cowboys. It's an interesting move, and I am curious to see how it works out. The Cowboys' position flex now apparently goes not just to corner safety, it also works from DT to fullback. Go figure there. Next up, did the Cowboys not try to get Derwin James? Four stars on this one, and I'm going to toot my own horn here because Todd Archer mentions this in one of his recent pieces that Leighton Vander Esch was the team's top choice after Vita Vea, not Derwin James. Makes it sound like the Cowboys didn't really have all that much interest in Derwin James, which if you've watched the show before, I've mentioned multiple times. The Cowboys didn't actually show a lot of interest in James, a talented player, but I don't think he was as high on the Cowboys' big board as everyone just assumed that he was. So the Cowboys did not make any move to go get Derwin James. They didn't make a call about moving up. At least that's what the Cowboys say. They stood pat at 17 and took, and took Leighton Van Der Esch instead, which brings us to a reaction poll as well here, folks. Are you upset the Cowboys didn't try to move up for Derwin James? Give me a like for a no if you don't want to trade up and you're happy with LVE. Give me a wow face if, yeah, you are kind of upset the Cowboys didn't make that move.